This is Deborah Atkinson, and you're listening to Flipping 50, where I address your top questions and the things you struggle with most so you can have more energy and less decision fatigue about what to eat, how to move, and you can change your thoughts to Flip 50 with the life and the energy you love in this second half. Imagine you're at an important business meeting. You've traveled and you're either presenting or you're connecting with colleagues and you're there to learn, network, catch up, collaborate. You need all your energy and your resources and you're hit with some gut issues, bloating, gas, constipation, diarrhea. It happened to me recently. So not all four, but let's say two of four. Recently, I thought I had this all figured out. So years ago, I had gut issues more consistently than I didn't, but this one took me totally by surprise. I had stomach issues in the past and was feeling so cocky, thinking I had it all figured out. And no, even though I was at a meeting where you can count on the food being amazing where I knew the schedule. So it wasn't like I was flying by the seat of my pants and I didn't know what was coming. I was exercising an important thing for your gut. If you're used to exercise, keeping your regular schedule of exercise, you're going to hear more about that a little bit later, but it still got me. So what I'm doing today is sharing my good fortune and my good friends who are about to be your good friends because they've got answers. Fortunately, the meeting I was at where I was feeling really uncomfortable, I had friends in the room who are hormone and gut experts who can help and have answers. So although I found something that saved me, and I'm going to share more about Atron Teal, It was a sample of something in the back of our room because we often share what we're up to and it just happened to be there. So with that in my hand, still, you know, this feeling, you know, of desperation, you, you have one answer and you're thinking, okay, what else? There might be another one. What else should I be doing? How can I get, Oh, I want to feel better. So I did that. Actually, I went around the room and as I came home, I shared my experience on Facebook because it's not all unicorns and rainbows, right? Even for us, we we're all human and circumstances change hormones and stress and sleep and food and your exercise schedule and your routine all can throw the egg basket into upset. And so they did. So what I'm going to do is share the answers from all of my friends, but you might be thinking, cause this dawned on me, why would I share anything but the one thing that I did that was the solution? And the reasons I'm doing this are twofold. Number one, you're unique probably with some intuition about what works for you best. And so hearing from different perspectives, from different experts, you may find one that resonates a little bit more with you. And two, there's at least a little, if not a lot of overlap here that I hope will reinforce for you your own personal best practice as you put it together. So there are a lot of juicy tips coming your way. That's my disclaimer seven experts who are very succinct and concise in giving their response will come at you with a lot of information. But my suggestion is that you just relax and just listen and then come over when you're done. And it's convenient to flipping50.com forward slash travel dash gut, where I'll have this episode's show notes. And I will link to every single one of our experts and the gut goodness that they have and we refer to in the show. It'll all be right there for you. So as you're walking, lifting, you're commuting or driving, no sweat. Well, maybe a little sweat. Just listen and enjoy it. Soak it in and then you can get all the links on the show notes. So no pressure to grab a pen or a pencil or try and desperately take notes in your phone. So we start with on trend till that is actually what I did take and what had me feeling better the next morning. So this was kind of late afternoon. I was like, what is going on here? I am not feeling like myself. 
And um, I felt so much better. But let me start with this. My friend, JJ Virgin, she's a celebrity nutrition expert, fitness hall of famer, and four-time New York Times bestselling author of titles including The Virgin Diet, JJ Virgin's Sugar Impact Diet, and JJ is flipping 50 fabulously, I might add, and she's constantly traveling herself. She gets it. So she has some solutions. Here's what JJ had to say. There is nothing worse than being on the road, traveling, having so much fun, and then you get interrupted by having a gas and bloating or constipation. (sighs) So I have a little kit that I travel with to make sure that this doesn't happen. Now, back it up. The first thing that you need to make sure that you know is what do you not do well with? So in the Virgin Diet, I help you uncover your hidden food intolerances. So you figure out, all right, when I eat dairy, I get bloated. Or when I eat gluten, I get stomach cramps. So the first thing you want to do is figure those things out so you can avoid them. And then also make sure that you're coming in prepared. I always travel with a couple things that help me tremendously. The first one is a product of mine called Safety Net. What this is are enzymes that help you break down gluten, dairy, soy, and eggs. These are all things I have trouble with. So it protects me from having issues out there should those things sneak in. But the second part of that is is ask questions. Now, sometimes you won't get the full answer. So I always ask questions in this way. I say, I have a severe reaction to gluten and dairy. I need to know if any of that is in the foods that we eat. So that's the next thing that I do. Now, a couple other things that happen while you travel is you get off your game. And what I mean by that is you may not be as regular as you want to be. I always travel with my all-in-one shake and I add in extra fiber. So I make sure I get my fiber up But and keep it up. But the other thing, and drink lots and lots of water. The other thing is to carry some magnesium and and vitamin C with you. This is super important. Vitamin C is great anyway because it helps lower stress hormones, which can go up as you travel. But a little extra magnesium at night with some extra vitamin C can do the trick to keep you regular. And I also travel with a good probiotic formula. I use one called Microbiome Balance. But you want to use a probiotic formula that can just keep you from running into trouble with some of the foods you eat. If you do eat something that doesn't work well for you, the other option you can do is something called Oil of Oregano. And Oil of Oregano is a great product if you have... um, eaten something that say um, you've gotten a little food poisoning. So again, enzymes that help break down dairy, gluten, soy, and eggs, oil of oregano to help with potential food poisoning, magnesium, vitamin C to help with constipation, plus some fiber. But this is not time to increase your fiber. And especially when you're traveling, it's not a time to really shift your diet big time. And then probiotics just to keep things that can help with regularity too. All righty. Hope that helps. Then I went around the room to my friend, Dr. Robin Benson, who you may recall because she's been on the show as a uh, preferred guest here a couple of times. One of those talking about the book I'm going to mention, she's the founder of Santa Fe Soul Center for Optimal Health, and she pioneered the self-care revolution. She's the best-selling author of Travel with Vitality, Seven Simple Solutions to Sleeping Well, Staying Fit, and Avoiding Illness. So an excellent book to pick up. Here's what Robin had to say. I wrote an entire book called Travel with Vitality. And I have to say, one of the biggest challenges is when we get a digestive issue, whether it's a parasite, whether it's gas and bloating or diarrhea. So my top three recommendations for you are these three supplements that you always want to have with your travel and vitality suitcase. Number one, Gasalia from Boron. That's B O I R O N. It is so fantastic. Just dissolve two underneath your tongue a couple times a day. And immediately that should help with any unexpected bloat. And boy, that can be not fun. 
Number two, we just never know with random foods that we're eating how well that they've been cleaned or are they GMO free. So what I recommend in this case is to always have something called oregano oil. In fact, it's probably my top herb that I recommend for all my patients to have at home for any type of emergency, but especially when you travel, you just never know. So you can take it preventatively before you leave on a trip, but also when you get that unexpected sore throat or you get a strange rash or you get you know, the runs, take ADP. It's a emulsified form of oregano oil from Biotics Research. It's fantastic. And the third recommendation is a, is a really good broad spectrum probiotic. I recommend Thrive. You only need one a day, so be sure to take that before your travels and take at least one each day. And perhaps consider taking two a day when you're in maybe a foreign country or you're in a place where there's very little uh, healthy food choices. So those three recommendations should help you a lot. And for those occasional times when you have constipation, which happens a lot actually when people travel, when you're flying at 30,000 feet and you get dehydrated unexpectedly, Triphala is a fantastic Ayurvedic herb that is good to take at night before you go to bed to ensure that you will have healthy bowel movements at least once or twice a day. So I hope that's helpful. So again, consider Gasalia, ADP, which is a form of emulsified oregano, a good probiotic, I like Thrive, and Triphala, an Ayurvedic herb for constipation. Wishing you healthy travels. And you can get my book to find out all of this information called Travel with Vitality on Amazon. Next up, my friend Jolene Brighton. And it's been a while since Jolene's been on the show, but if you've been listening to Flipping 50 Podcasts for a while, Jolene was on one February and we got into some really good stuff, kind of talking libido, love life. And uh, you may want to go back and catch that one. In fact, I'll link to it. (laughs) Jolene is a licensed functional medicine, naturopathic doctor. She is the best-selling author who you are going to be hearing so much more from and about in the coming months. She's a speaker and mother who travels a lot herself. In fact, humorously, I think we caught her at an airport to get this little snippet in, in time for the podcast. Here's what Jolene had to say. Hi, I'm currently traveling. In fact, I'm in an airport right now. So you might hear the over and over a calm speaker at any point. And here's what I use when I'm traveling. I'm always sure to travel with my gut clear by Dr. Brighton, which is what I use anytime I eat anything that I think may give me an upset stomach. Like we're talking food poisoning kind of symptoms. I also use it when I'm traveling anywhere that's, you know, tropical, there could be a possible parasite. So anytime I think I might come down with something infectious, I also travel with my digest product as well. And the reason why I travel with this is because it helps me break down whatever I'm putting into my system. Let's face it, as clean as we all want to eat, we are at the mercy of what's in the airport and what's at the restaurants when we're on the go. And the last thing I always make sure I pack in my travel bag is magnesium citrate. And that's because a lot of people, myself included, can sometimes have constipation when we're traveling. When our system gets disrupted, this is something that's very common. And magnesium citrate at 150 to 300 milligrams at night can help you sleep and also help you have a healthy bowel movement in the morning. You can grab all of this at drbrighton.com. That's www.drbrighton, D-R-B-R-I-G-H-T-E-N.com. Happy travels. Next up, I talked to Terry Cochran, who's author of The Wilditarian Diet. And if you don't have that book, I highly recommend you pick it up. And the founder of Heal and Seal Program. You guessed it, all about the gut. She's a nutritional counselor and integrative practitioner who often deals with the toughest cases and who actually I send my family members to. You may remember Terry if you have the Bone Health mini course. 
where Terry actually shares her intel about the best and the worst supplements for bone building. But right here, Terry's going to talk gut. I would trust Terry with my gut, and here's what she had to say. If you and I were sitting at a table and you told me you were experiencing some gut health issues while on travel, the first thing that I would do is I would ask you to ask the hotel bar people or restaurant people to provide a little bit of baking soda. I would take just the tip of a teaspoon of that baking soda in water and I would drink it in about two ounces of water. That really neutralizes the stomach. That helps to bring down any inflammation and it really helps support alkalinity. We tend to acidify when we travel because we're up in the air. We may be stressed. Uh, we might not have gotten enough sleep. So that's what I would suggest. Another thing that you can do, and I always travel with this, and actually I'm leaving today for travel. I travel with charcoal, which will bind up any toxins from any uh, potential pathogens in food that I might have taken in while eating at a restaurant. And I also travel with apple cider vinegar. And apple cider vinegar, it's a great prebiotic. It's a great probiotic. It helps as a digestive aid. And it actually even helps with um, any kind of bug bite. So if I'm actually traveling to Miami. So it's, it's multi-purpose. And then um, the last thing I would do is if you can't find baking soda and if you don't have apple cider vinegar or charcoal, then I would ask for some chamomile tea. That really is a wonderful anti-inflammatory. Um, it's a wonderful soother to the stomach. And Peter Rabbit would always drink chamomile tea when um, he had a tummy upset. So those are my tips for the um, quick fixes to your gut health while traveling. And um, I hope this helps. Have a great day, everybody. And then I talked with Dr. Donnie Wilson. And Donnie is a best-selling author, creator of the best-selling program, The Stress Remedy, seven and 21-day programs. She specializes in, here we go, leaky gut, food sensitivities, digestive troubles as a part of her holistic practice. She does a whole lot more, but all of those got my attention. And I'm going to link after the show to a quiz where you can go and see if adrenal stress could actually be a part or the cause of your gut issues. Here's what Donnie had to say. I'm so glad you asked this question, Deborah. I think it's such an important topic. Here's the thing. Gas and bloating happens when the bacteria in the intestines are fermenting undigested food. So my first tip is to break up the gas and bloating. We can use herbs. Two of the herbs that work best are peppermint and fennel which you could usually find in a tea, even when you're traveling, get a peppermint tea or a fennel tea or maybe both. That will help decrease the bloating and gas right away. The second thing is I always bring with me digestive enzymes, pancreatic enzymes, because when you're traveling, you might be eating foods that are different than your usual foods. And so you could already be taking digestive enzymes whenever you eat. And certainly if you start to have digestive symptoms, you could take the digestive enzymes. I recommend a product that I created called Enzyme Support, which you could find at drdonnystore.com, just D-R-D-O-N-I store.com. My third recommendation is actually to check out a blog post that I wrote recently on this exact topic. Um, the blog post is at drdonnie.com. And in that blog post, I share six more travel tips for people who have IBS and a tendency to gas and bloating. And with these six travel tips, I think you're going to be much more prepared when you travel for how to prevent those situations. All right. Thank you. Good luck. Summer Bach is amazing. First of all, let's just start with that. Summer is a leading gut health expert. Okay. And she is the woman 
who coined the term gut rebuilding. She's the founder of the Better Belly Project and CEO at Guts and Glory. So you know we're in the right place when we asked Summer for her advice. And I love what she had to say and that she included the importance of your exercise schedule, whether you're increasing it, decreasing it, that can have an impact on your gut health. And often that's a forgotten piece. Here's what Summer had to say. Every time I travel, I bring a digestive first aid kit to keep me from experiencing any discomfort. Traveling can change your circadian rhythms and thereby affect your digestive hormones. This can cause bloating, diarrhea, constipation, heartburn, and even excess hunger. And when you add that on top of eating out, which exposes you to inflammatory foods, or you change your eating schedule, which most of us do when we're traveling, um, or get less exercise, this impacts the normal functioning of the digestive system. And our bodies like normal. (laughs) So here's what I do when I know I'm not going to get to do my normal daily routine. There are six things. The first three I take preventatively, probiotics, bitters, and magnesium. I take my probiotics at least once a day, more if somebody around me is sick. So if somebody's sick, I will take them with each meal. I also take bitters with each meal. This stimulates digestion. It also helps peristalsis, which it you know relieves constipation. And I have two favorites, liver lover warming bitters and sweet and gentle bitters. And the sweet and gentle is meant to help bring a little bit of calm before you eat so that your body gets into a state of rest and digest. The bitters can also be used to relieve a sour stomach or heartburn. You can get these in the probiotics at shopgutsandglory.com. You can take two to three magnesium glycinate capsules at night to help sleep better and to keep your digestion moving along. A couple of these anytime throughout the day can help relieve constipation, but also calm your nervous system. So if you're feeling stressed, this is a really nice thing to have in your kit. The emergency options that I bring along are activated charcoal, baking soda, and quercetin. If nothing else is working and you wake up at night with a a sour stomach, or you feel like something's off with your digestion, take a couple capsules of activated charcoal. These are also used for hangover prevention, so it's good to have in your kit. If in 30 minutes you still have acid reflux or heartburn, get a quarter cup of water. Mix the contents from the capsule of quercetin, empty it out, and get a half a teaspoon of baking soda and a squeeze of lemon or lime. Now, the the lemon is going to make the mixture bubble, and that's totally normal. Sip on this and hold the mixture in your mouth, kind of under your tongue for about 20 seconds before swallowing. This will help with fat absorption, which is often the culprit of traveling belly aches and acid reflux. This mixture is also great any time of day for helping to make the body more alkaline, which can give you an energy boost while traveling. I hope these tips are helpful. I never travel without my digestive first aid kit. All right, and last, here we go. My gut health white horse rode in, in the form of Dr. Ken Brown. And after developing the only natural, all natural and clinically proven answer for IBS and bloating in over six years time, Atron Till launched in the summer of 2015. And that's what I took while I was at the meeting so it was kind of middle of the afternoon and I realized that breakfast and lunch, you know, were not sitting well. I wasn't feeling great. It was second day in. Dr. Brown developed Entrantil to help those people suffering from symptoms of IBS, which we now know are caused by bacterial overgrowth. I'm going to talk in a deeper dive with Dr. Brown about that in an upcoming episode. So if you have IBS, so many women do, and there are answers, and you're going to love this. This is what Dr. Ken Brown had to say. My patients tell me all the time about all kinds of digestive issues when they travel. The stress, dehydration, diet changes, and even exposure to different bacteria really can wreak havoc on your gut. So here's my quick fix. It's called Atrantil. This is the perfect travel companion. 
Atron Teal uses three polyphenol extracts to keep your digestive system in check. It really works well for travelers because it's got several unique benefits. First, it has natural antimicrobial properties. Second, the molecules work like a sponge and they absorb gas that's causing lots of bloating. And finally, it helps people with food sensitivities. For instance, I'm gluten intolerant, and when I travel, I take Atron Teal so I don't have to be so worried about it. There you go, my solution to the bloated traveler. There you have it. So now you've got all the gut solutions and the gut goodness from my gut gurus. Can I say that any more times? If you still have a question or you have a comment, leave it below the show link at flipping50.com. And that's all words, all spelled out, no numbers, no spaces. And join us on the Flipping 50 TV Facebook page just to join our community and hear about the updates and the brand new podcast coming out to get all the juicy resources. And there are a lot and links mentioned in this show's notes. Visit today's episode at flipping50.com forward slash travel dash gut. And if you enjoy the show, I would love your rating in iTunes. It really helps. And then share this with a friend to surround yourself with a supportive community of women on the same journey. What are you waiting for? Start flipping 50 today. 